I'm sitting here on the front steps of my current purchase, my future dream home. As you guys know, I'm from New York. I purchased this thing sight unseen. And is it a sight? It's it's a poor sight, unfortunately. Uh, if you guys like like an action-packed video where we're doing stuff and staying busy, this isn't the video for you. I suggest that you come back to another video. This video is just kind of slow and informative and nerve-wracking for myself, and I, I wanted to uh, film my reaction to it. This is going to be a big project, you guys. This, this is a huge project. It's, it's a house. It's one of the biggest projects uh, a human, an average human, will take on building a house, and not very many people do that. So all I ask is if you help us by giving your hand, hitting that like button, and uh, a lot of hands make light work. Do your best to hit that like button, and I'll, I'll try to remind you. Uh, it helps with the algorithm, helps with views, and with more views, I can pay fines if we go ahead and endure them. Here's my reaction to a letter that I got in the mail. Any any time a government ever reaches out to me, at least, I don't like it. I don't like when I get letters from the IRS. I don't like letters when I get from the county, uh, the states. Don't care for it. I kind of want to just do my thing and just not have any issues. If you guys have had any issues, please leave them in the comment section below. Let's get to this letter. So I don't know how good this is gonna go because well, this, I'm referring to the letter in my hand. Uh, a little bit ago, I was outside and a USPS vehicle pulled up into my driveway and asked if I wanted to sign for this letter. And that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. It's like, what do you mean, do I wanna sign it? They spent $7 sending it to me and it's from the county that I live in. I'm hoping that nothing's wrong. I mean, I understand we did a little bit of, you know, assessment to the house that I purchased and, you know, maybe they mistaken, mistook that or however you want to say that for us working on it without a permit. Well, that isn't good. Let's see. It's probably never good when they send you a $7 letter. A notice of unsafe structures abatement and abandonment uh, legal description it's telling me you know my my property my boundaries uh, section 05 and it tells you exactly where the house is um, 337 feet 210 feet I'm definitely like caught off guard like I don't like this Please understand if I don't say a specific word or a location, uh, I would like to share this with you, but to an extent, right? Um, after a thorough inspection of the structure or portion of it, the blank building department has deemed it unsafe or a public nuisance under the provisions of blank county code. I can kind of see where they're coming from with the unsafe part. And judging by all the people that walk by here and sit, say good things to us while we're fixing it, while we're, you know, cleaning up the yard, it's definitely, it definitely has been a nuisance. And we have definitely been working on that. As detailed in the attached report, the blank building official hereby orders it to be abated by repair or demolition and vacation if deemed necessary to complete either. A permit must be obtained before repair or demolition work begins. The required action, now let me, let me just stop there. Um, the property that I purchased, it burnt down four years ago, five years ago, somewhere in that neighborhood. And they obviously didn't like it. And now that the property has changed hands, I'm sure they're trying to scare me into doing it. I, I want to. Uh, you know, fix, fix the house. It's just I wish they were a little quicker on their permits. The required action listed above must be 
commenced or completed as determined by the Blank County Building Official, or the structure will be ordered, vacated, and posted to prevent further occupancy until the work is completed. Wow, you can still occupy it. That's kind of cool. Way better than I thought it was going to... We're not living in the house, obviously. The building official may cause the work to be done and all costs incurred charged against the property owner of record. That makes sense to me. All necessary permits for the repair or demolition shall be secured and the work commenced within 60 days and shall continue to completion within such as the building official determines. The repairs must comply with the provisions of the county code. If the structure is to be demolished, it shall be vacated within the same 60 day period. Notice is hereby given that repair or demolition of the structure and abandonment of all the existing wells and septics will be undertaken by the county without additional notice at the end of the 60 day period. And the cost of the demolition and related administrative costs shall be charged as a superior lien against the real property. In addition, a collection agency fee and any applicable administrative costs will also be added to the total payoff amount and the lien will be reported to the credit bureaus. Any person having legal interests in the property may appeal to this notice to the Board of Adjustments. A request for appeal shall be provided to the county building official within 30 days from the date of this notice. Failure to appeal in the time specified will constitute a waiver of all rights to appeal and shall be considered abandonment of the property and structures. All questions concerning this notice shall be directed to me via the information below. Okay, I haven't spoke with that person yet. It, and then it just has this sheet here that says structural items for damage and decay uh, footings, there are no footings, so there's no check there. Okay, so then there's this paper that says what's messed up with the structure. Check structural items for damage and decay. Walls, there's a check mark by that. Deterioration from fire damage. Roof, there's a check mark there. Deterioration from fire damage. And last but not least, windows and doors, check mark by there deterioration from fire damage. This structure is unsafe. Signed, somebody, I can't read that, chicken scratch. Well, not too bad, but at the same time, they're definitely on us. We are in the midst of getting permits. I've, I've wanted to get a permit for the roof here. my garage going up so that I can repair the garage roof while we're waiting on the architect for the house but for whatever reason there's a clause or some sort of stick up that requires that I have to fix the house first before this but at the same time like I'm going to do both so just, why not just let me do what I guess I don't understand is like if I'm going to improve the property in any way just let me do it right uh, I'm, I'm filling out all your forms, just um, I hope we can figure this all out, but I'm very thankful that I don't have a fine in there. Uh, so yeah, there's some nerve wracking. When the government, when any kind of government pays $7 or tries to get in contact with you, period, there's an uneasy feeling that at least I get, I don't know about you, sketchy sometimes. Would you like to read it? Good news or bad news? Yeah, it's like even. Luckily, no fines. I, I really wish that they would give me some good news. That this was more so even news. I'd like them to just say, okay, we, we're giving you permits. Start doing your work. Start making some videos. Leave in the comment section below. Free the permits. Free the permits. Let's get on this thing. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. I'm trying to upload every other day for you guys. I, I want to give you guys content, so hit that like button. If you made it this far in the video, say foundation. 
I'm gonna definitely put a heart next to your comment. Till next time, stay fresh, super fly. 3D Machines out, and this wreck.